Toke, is it? Toke, yeah, yeah something like that. Toke. Uh, yeah. By Dengue Fever. Yeah. Uh, two of the bands that have been playing, at, well, I've playing, or have been, or will be, playing at the Psychedelic Nights down at Band of the Wall. I've been, I think that's a great idea. There's lots of people doing psychedelic stuff now. There's a big festival that like they have in Liverpool, isn't there? So. Uh, our jingle was very psychedelic in the middle, wasn't it? It was, yeah. It was so psychedelic. Yeah. I had no idea what it was about. I know. I think there was the, they were saying, like, you know, don't do drugs. Good was advice, there. children. It was advised, yeah. yeah. Um, because we're down with that sort of thing. Right. As opposed to the the people who are on drugs who are up. Yeah. Yeah. And then that's it. they have another drug to make them down. Oh, yeah. If they yeah, see that's you get too right. far up. Yeah. 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 So we watch watching your ups and downs and uh, ideally yeah. don't do any. Good idea. Save them all for me. Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway. Right, and then uh, Serpent Power. Yes, we, I think we'll have some of them now. We will because they played a few weeks ago one of the uh, one of the gigs, and this is a uh, members of I think it's the guitarist out of the Zootons, yeah, and uh, and the drummer out of the Coral. That famous Muckies. Yeah, is it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I don't know which track we're going to have them either, but we'll have some now. Keyboard player from Paddy Power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fred Doan on keyboard uh, on banjo. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. <laughs> so let's have some serpent. Oh, by the way, Steve, what? did you um, did you see that thing we were looking at before? The news item. Oh, have, have you have you been to a supermarket yet and bought anything that was about? I have charging for for bags. I know. Which I, th- I think is a good idea. Fair enough. Oh, there was riots. Yeah, there was people wrestling in the aisles. Was there? No. Oh right, that's what the newspapers predicted. Yeah, carry a bag, carry a bag mayhem. <laughs> I uh, no, it's just that we we I often take my bags bags yeah, with me, you know. Yeah, yeah. And we, you know, recycle them, but because uh, <laughs> there's too many of them, they're all over the place. Yeah. But um, yeah, well, so, so the I'm charging for bags now. Yeah. I I went in the other day, and the fir- on the day she said to me, uh, "Do you want a bag for life?" Yeah. And I thought, is it, how long have I got to live if that bag's going to outlast me? Yeah. I was I was genuinely concerned, and she said, oh, no, 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 sir. She called me sir. No way. So that got suspicious straight away. I thought yeah. she was talking to the bloke behind me. Taking the mic. She said, um, no, if you, if you rip it or break it, we'll give you another one. That's but it was only it? ten pence, do you know yeah. what I mean? And it is quality bag, so... I don't. I don't see what's so upsetting about that. Somebody on Just Facebook said they're really pleased about the five year carrier bag thing because it means they got two grand in their kitchen drawer. <laughs> I forgot about that as well. Oh. One of them drawers, and you get attacked by black yeah. bin bags. Um, I might have to start taking them to onto the off license, so that's where I get them. But that's what I, I recycle them with uh, dog muck. I pick dog muck up here and not our dogs, yeah. just any random dog. What a lovely picture you're painting with words. Well, some somebody's got to do it, you know. Yeah. And I actually it's enjoy hobby, it. it. So, hobby. you know what I like doing. If it's especially if it's cold, yeah. you know, you get two, put them in your coat pocket, <laughs> keep your hands side. warm for yeah. ages. I, yeah, there you go, children. Cheap yeah. hand warmers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Why, why let's, have, let's have some of this serpent power stuff. <laughs>
serpent power there and the man who shrunk the world. The world. Have you ever shrunk out, Steve? Yeah. What? It depends how cold it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, uh, right. Mm -hmm. uh, so, yeah, we're getting very close to the end of this first part, Steve. Have you been swimming? No. That's what I guess sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> is it cold outside? <laughs> yeah. Aye, well... Right. Yeah, we are. So we are. Right. OK, uh, so, um, yeah, shopping bags we were talking about. It's Aye. a hot topic. It is. You know, um, what, you've got some there about Poundland. Poundland. And There's a little news item. I don't know yeah. if it's true or not. Well, I do. I do know it's not. Uh, Poundland has been forced to charge a pound for shopping bags. Because <laughs> they've got their, their thing, haven't they? Yeah. Their, their catchphrase, everything a pound. Yeah. But you it? could do them a, a, a 20 bag, I couldn't you, for the quid? I suppose you could do, yeah. yeah. A spokesman said, everything in a pound except for carrier bags isn't quite as snappy. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's play this and then we'll be back after uh, the sponsors and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, see you in a bit, yeah. Re radio people say.
what had the girls do? Um, the what uh, you call it? What do you call it? Um, Motor girl. Girl. <laughs> no. Girl. What do you call it? <laughs> head come girl. On, come on, head, head girl. girl that's that's it. it. Yeah. Well, I bought a single <laughs> at the weekend. Did you? Yeah, old from the old record store. Right. And that's on the B side of uh, that. So where, where do you get that from? Did you, did it's it? a little mark. The mark is in Berry. All right. I just so bought a few singles. Well, Amanda bought a few singles. For you? Yeah. Well, we go shopping for them together. Right. Yeah, get some proper bargains, you know. Yeah, I can imagine. Yeah. That's good. We don't have anything like that in Salford. No? No, it's a shame. Yeah. Come to Berry. Yes. On we'll behalf of the Berry like Tourist Board. Yeah. So, right, uh, yeah, um, this part of the show, we are still, and we didn't... I said we were going to play a few tunes by Spring King. <laughs> we uh, we that, played we? one. <laughs> um... <laughs> But we, you know, we 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 got there in the end. You we'll know, get there, so, yeah. Yeah, we, we can do it now. Mm-hmm. And there's another album that I said I was going to feature, which is uh, Lord Kalino, and I think we should have something from it now. Yeah. Because uh, this is uh, what Una Bain sent in to me. Oh, I've got a feeling that uh, it it was recorded in Manchester. There it is. There it is. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> it's a lovely handmade um, package. Um, no, lovely laminate. I like the way. I just think that's it's a nice little that, touch, yeah. isn't it? Custom. You know, this is number fifty-four. Personalised. Yeah, I don't know if oh, it's all the same. You check out the translation as well. See if there was anywhere near. Uh, no, <laughs> I'm guessing you're probably about right. <laughs> Google like. Translate. El Club de la Mosca, Ureta Y la. Some not a dead wasp. Uh, Avispa. <laughs> that's rather mm. a bit secker. Yeah. Now, uh, Avispa. Is that what you think's a bee? Yeah. Right. Well, you. <laughs> so that was good. Right. So, right, we're going to have uh, something off that now, and I think we are going to have uh, Horse on Fire. Horse on Fire? <laughs> yeah. You'll get it done for that, won't you? <laughs> sure. Hey guys, there's a horse on fire. Oh, yeah. And a, and a skeleton. <laughs> 